and welcome to another episode of What the Fluff. I'm Flavia Panda. And I'm Tam. So the big question for today's episode of WTF is what the fluff is a Tootsie Roll? Yes, we just learned that now because we thought it was a, what did we call it? Swiss roll. A Swiss roll. Mm -hmm. A small Swiss roll. Turns out it's not. Nope. It looks like it's more like toffee. Yeah. So it is a chocolate-like, taffy-like candy that has been manufactured since 1907. Um, yeah, that's a Tootsie Roll. And I'm assuming so it really is just the brand? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. I'm assuming a Tootsie a t- a t- a t- Pop. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> You're a Tootsie Pop. <laughs> Uh, a Tootsie Pop is just an ice cream with the same flavor, I'm assuming. Give me two seconds. Hard candy lollipops filled with chocolate flavored chewy Tootsie Roll. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Points to Tam. And it's me. So, yeah. So, cool. We've answered that question. I think we can go. Yay. Thanks for watching. No, <laughs> I'm joking, guys. We do have more. Um... So, Tam, shall I go? Go. It's all yours. All right. All right. I have a story. I have a story. This happened a couple of weeks ago to the both of us. Uh, we At were the same in, time. We were in Pick and Pay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We were in Pick and Pay. A local grocery store. And we were at the checkout and we picked up, we went there for one thing and we came back with like six cans of energy drinks and two <laughs> serious dumpies and like, you know, all the good stuff. I think we went there for pasta sauce. Like yes, we it. went there for pasta sauce and we came back with like <laughs> cheese and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And we're at the checkout uh, getting rung up and the uh, cashier looks at us and she asks us very seriously, are you goth? <laughs> I, I don't know. Granted, at the time I was wearing black lipstick. So yeah. So I can't I mean, really blame her. I don't, I don't know where she got that idea from. I don't know. Um, Because, I mean, if you see how we're dressed in our previous video. We look pretty. Sunshine and buttercup. (laughs) Rainbows and unicorns. And then you said that I was goth. Yes. Which kind of, I guess. I mean, they've seen me in my pajamas. I can't really say that I'm goth (laughs) in front of them. (laughs) Well, I have bright pink pajama pants, so. Okay. (laughs) Goth card, goth. (laughs) Um. And then she looked at us dead seriously and she said, have you heard of the Rothschilds? Mm. And she Mm. said they're this really, really wealthy gothic family. So I've heard of the Rothschilds before, but in the realm of goth, especially online and in YouTube, they're not really mentioned all that much. You know, The Cure, maybe, Bauhaus, yes. Illuminati. Tim Burton and Hannah Bonham Carter, yes. Not the Rothschild. So I did some I research. That's a goth name, though. Right? Like. <laughs> and if you see some of their properties, I did some research on them. And you see some of their properties, you're like, yeah, okay, I see. You could totally be goth. Um, but they're a wealthish Jewish banking family. So they basically kind of... Old money. Old family money. Yeah. Banking so I don't know how be... <laughs> See, I'm not the only one who doesn't. That's me just scatting a little bit. Uh, I don't it's know. It's Jasper, <laughs> hey Tom. So, do you have a so career? I don't know about goth, but they are Jewish and they are super wealthy. Mm. So, yeah. But it was just really funny that with all seriousness, she was like, "Have you heard of the Rothschilds?" Like, yeah. Like we were friends with them or something, or like we were all in the same club, book club. Yeah, like, totally. Absolutely. We fly out every weekend for our <laughs> goth sleepovers. Yes. Where we debate. Ooh, can we have one of those? We sure. can watch The Crow and The Craft. and. Sure. But we do that anyways. So it's just like a normal normal yeah. sleepover. <laughs> that felt flat. Okay, but this okay. time we just won't watch Clueless as well. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, my What the Fluff story today is Oh, my lord. I'm just... 
I'm, I'm already angry just thinking about this. So I was, I went shopping today with my mom and we were in, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> you done? I think so. Good. So I went shopping today with my mom and we were in a fairly common franchise kind of store, Mr. Price. And this girl and her grandmother were looking at shoes. And this little girl, she's probably about 12. She looked about the same age as the girl guides that I like volunteer with. And her grandmother, and I know this, not by assuming the grandmother's age, but because the girl kept calling her gran. Just putting that out there to begin with. And the grandma was asking her what shoes she liked. And this girl goes, I only went brand names. Okay. Yeah. Someone obviously doesn't buy their own shoes. <laughs> and this grandmother was trying so hard to like engage with this child. And I was just standing there going, what the fuck? Like, who talks to their elder like that? Yeah. Like, seriously? A friend of mine posted on, on Facebook the other day where one of her sister's friends called her mother by her first name. That's a weird phenomenon. I've seen that happen before. And it's very strange to me. No, but like, surely when you're at a friend's house, you don't call your friend's parent by their first name unless they have told you that it's fine. Yeah. Right? For a lot of families regardless of race no i still call a lot of my friends parents who i've known for the last 10 12 years mr so and so mrs thank you ma'am yes sir because i was raised right and now this like little kid comes along and now wants to call oh my lord i would have smacked a kid <laughs> straight up you yeah. so that's my what the fluff is just the children of today because <sighs> kids today <laughs> i don't know how i'm gonna become a teacher but <laughs> i don't i'm gonna figure it out guys but damn tell me what else have you got in store for us today uh i kind of have two things i want to show Ooh. you i'm gonna show you a thing first mm. which is probably not your cup of tea but i don't care if it's the it trailer i will throw pumba at you it's totally not the it trailer mm. At all. Okay, let's do this. In any way. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Shut down the imagination. Shut down the imagination. Right, so quick right. something about this trailer. It has broken records. Right. It is the most viewed trailer in the shortest amount of time. And uh -huh. it, it beat the fate and the furious. I wonder why. Hey, hey, whoa, watch yourself. We can, we can mark a lot of things here, but Fast and the Furious will not be marked in this house. The Fate and the Furious. What's the Fate and the Furious? I don't know. Is that not the fast, the latest Fast and the Furious? Yeah, but it's yeah, Fate. Yeah, the producer is, is nodding his head. But the producer is wrong. It's called Fate and the Furious. Yes, but they've, it's, they've always had different names along the lines of the is Fast and the Furious. Is it always like Fast and the Furious 7? No, one time it was Fast and Fast Furious or something. Furiously Fast. They always, every now and then, they'll, they'll throw in a different name. It's a thing. Anyway, it beat it. Fuck on the hell. Anywho. I mean, so. it's a cool trailer, though. Okay. <laughs> so oh. it's amazing. Here we go. Okay. He's just an idiot. <laughs> Not yet. Don't stick your hand in there. Don't stick your hand in there. <laughs> Terrifying novel. <laughs> And that's just grown-ups. Kids are worse. Way, way worse. 
People are stupid. Yeah, I saw him too. Look, it's all connected by the sewers. That's where it lives. Yeah, yeah. It ain't easy, peasing wheezy. <laughs> Gonna come watch you with me? No! <laughs> Lord! Hell no! Right, so I'm supposed to be sleeping alone tonight. <laughs> Just overdose on my little pony and you'll be fine. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? Because entertainment! So that is a what the fuck <laughs> on my part. And I think for her, it's a. I'm so excited. What the fuck? Yeah. It's it's exciting for some. A lot of people are very excited about this movie. I was I was a little, how do I say this? Upset that they were redoing another classic. I was without too. having actually watched the classic. I was too because I've actually watched the classic. Really? But uh, it came out in two parts initially. Uh, it was a mini series back in the day, so it came out in two parts. And the first part revolves around the kids, and then the second part is when they're older, when they're grown up. Okay. And a big criticism of that one was is that the child actors were just outshone the adult adult actors. So the second part of it wasn't as good simply mm. because mm. the adult actors were not as good. But what is this obsession people have with using children and scary things? I mean, I'm just thinking of Stranger Things now. Because it's terrifying. And then Duh. wasn't there another movie? Which With, one? like, Steven Spielberg and these kids find, like, an alien on a train. What's that oh, movie? that's uh, Super 8. That was really good. Yeah, but isn't that also a little bit frightening? Well, yes. I'm asking the wrong person. So, my goal is to finish reading the book before September. For a second there, I thought you were going to say my goal was to get Fluffy to watch this movie. I was about to cry. Please don't ever <gasps> do that I'm not going to force you to watch the movie. <laughs> Thank you. At all. I'm probably gonna be sitting there myself because I don't think Kellen's gonna want to come see it with me. He's gonna be like, "Fuck that noise." <laughs> Kellen is her boyfriend. Ooh. Ooh. I'll go with you. Obviously. <laughs> so now that we've just mentioned people that you guys don't know, but you'll meet them eventually. Don't worry. Um. Yeah. It. Are you guys excited about it? I have no particular feelings for it. But amped, yeah. So to move back to South Africa, just really quick before we move to our international correspondent, Darth Pixie, all the way in Zimbabwe. Um, one what? One what the fluff story? I just wanted to touch on. Uh, well, a couple. First of all, Zuma. What the fuck? Trump. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm still going, what the fuck about Brexit? And that was a year ago. And is only really going to take place in like 2018, 2019 or something. So, yeah. That's all I'm saying for politics right now is just... Oh, also junk status. <laughs> junk status? Currency. Our currency uh, has been classified as junk status. Right. Which so. means it's basically worthless. To the rest of the world. And what the downside of that is, is no companies are allowed to invest in other businesses that are classified with a chunk status. 
So that's basically like a lot of businesses in South Africa, which means we are losing a lot of foreign revenue, which is what we live on. Because it basically means that you as a foreign company, if somebody is classified as junk status, it means you are not getting your loan back. The debt will not be repaid from this country. What the fuck? So interesting times ahead for us. Wide. Okay. Right. So that's that's all we have to say about the politics. I'm I'm too tired to get into it. <laughs> like literally. And this is just the beginning of it. Um it's just Yeah, what the fuck? That's it. That's all I have to say about it. That's everyone has opinions and things and people are marching or not marching or wearing black or not wearing black and always wearing black yeah <laughs> <laughs> so all i have to say is what the fuck and then my second south african story is there was a 6.5 earthquake near um what is to and still oh, okay. up That's country nice. so yeah, in South Africa, we don't have earthquakes that often. It's there is a particular area that yeah. tends to get them. It's right, but it's right where this earthquake happened. But this one was felt all the way in Otsuan, which is about... I'm just going to say the opposite side of the country. Where all the ostriches live. Yes. All the ostriches live in Otsuan, and it's about a six-hour drive from Cape Town. And Stilfontein is literally just below Botswana so if you yeah. know anything about our geography then I think I've kind of explained how far away Otuan is for them to have felt the tremors of an earthquake like yeah because yeah. I've never been through one neither have I our friend in Sing Singapore <laughs> you have a friend in Singapore Are apparently I do now <laughs> <laughs> in South Korea said that she went through an earthquake but it was mm. a teeny teeny tiny one well yeah that everything just kind of shimmied for a second and then stopped <laughs> like this wasn't a like earth shattering earthquake but it was actually one of the fairly biggest ones that we've had in recent history which is why like a lot of people have been messaging and tweeting and saying things on facebook about it like it wasn't anything like what happened in nepal for example but yeah um the thing about living here in south africa is that the weather makes you go WTF all the time just because of how quickly it changes like I am so over summer <laughs> done and we're at that weird phase between summer and cold in the morning hot in the afternoon cold in the evening <sighs> so I this don't... get up today was a mistake <laughs> it's all about layers it's all about layers but yeah so it's definitely it's something that people talk a lot about um here in especially in Cape Town um, it's not just so fun weather we're having. People have genuine conversations about the weather because you have to plan for the day ahead. Like if you know someone is in an area that you're going to before you, say like if I'm not going to go to Rondebosch, I will message Tam and I'll be like, hey, how's the weather? Because just a, t what's a 10 minute drive from my place to yours, Completely the weather different. can change like that. It could be raining where I live mm -hmm. and then it's blue skies where she is. Mm -hmm. So she could come out looking all fancy like and then get rain on. best summer dress. Mm, and girl. Then, <laughs> no. Yeah. Also, nobody wants a hair No. What that means is for your hair to go from straight to that. <laughs> also, this doesn't mince, though. No. no. This does not mince. <laughs> at all. <laughs> yes. So... It does get everywhere, though. <laughs> so... The weather has definitely been, besides politics and seriousness and decriminalizing of weed, which isn't really a what the fuck, <laughs> more of a whoop de doo. Um, <laughs> Yay! Um, but but it's, it's not for a general consumption. No, it's in your home. I thought it was just like, you know, you had to have like a medical certificate to be like, I'm dying. I need weed. <laughs> I, I don't thought it was know. like a medical reasons but in california apparently you can be like ah my back and then they'll give you weed it's fairly easy to get like a prescription for it yeah but then, there apparently i don't know america's so messed up with their weed laws because it's by state yeah. so the whole country can't just be like you know what weed's legal just shut up um yeah have a cookie i don't know <laughs> 
Um, it literally that's so a every biscuit <laughs> for everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, every every state has their own rules and things. So you can't just like cross over the border and be like, "Hey, let's get blazed." <laughs> no, I'm very angry today, guys. <laughs> Can I tell you a funny story to cheer you up really quickly? Cool, because then I want to show you this really cool thing. On, on uh, when I was a kid, I was really, really weird. Still am. And I was like, one the past it? <laughs> really? <laughs> one summer holidays. Undoubtedly, one of my favorite movies is The Mummy. Um, the one with Brendan Fraser in it. And one summer holidays, I didn't have anything better to do. So I watched it over 24 times and wrote down the script. For no reason. <laughs> this is why you and I are friends. And you want to know the sad thing about that? I was using bad quality pens, so the ink has faded over time and I can't see it anymore. But we can totally Save find it. the script for you online. <laughs> <laughs> well, back then I didn't have that. That is so precious. Oh my god. <laughs> so slightly teeny tinier me spent the whole time and it wasn't a DVD. It was a videotape and I taped it off the TV. It wasn't oh. even official copy. So I like go for it, pause, go for it, pause. So your scribing <laughs> skills must be quite something. There's bomb. <laughs> All right, make me laugh. Here we go. So what are we watching? This is, it's a video that just popped up on my recommendations today called Dude Perfect. So it's very white man. It's very sporty, jockey. Not the da -dun -da -dun kind of, but the yabla. Only got honeys. <laughs> Do you even bump iron? Yo, like, yo, fuck my car with you, eh? <sighs> yeah, that. <laughs> so I just want to show you the intro. <laughs> I fucking hate this ad. Okay, wait, wait. Just really quick. Can that that in itself is a what the fluff? Why is it? Because none of my guy friends, none of my guy friends get that ad. What, seriously? None. And it is a non-skippable ad, right? And it's a pregnancy test ad. And people are like, oh, YouTube plays ads for what you Google. No, no, no. None of my guys get that ad. None of my guys, like I own them. Well, you do. <laughs> you know it. So yeah, none of my guy friends get that ad. And it's literally because I'm a girl. Because on Google, on my account, I said that I am female and I get that clear blue ad. If I'm wrong, please tell me I'm wrong. But it's fucking annoying. So and what just because of it, I will never use clear blue. Not that I ever will need it, but I will never use it. So what... What do guys get instead I have no of clear idea. blue? What do you get? I've got one that's clear blue. Clear blue? Like, yeah. Did you fuck around though when you signed up for YouTube? No. <laughs> you did, didn't you? Shut up. <laughs> Lady <laughs> pants. <laughs> no. Are you logged into your into your YouTube channel though? Yeah. Because I only got them when I lo actually, like, logged into my account. If I'm just watching YouTube, then I don't get them. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hmm. it made me mad. So, this, they do this thing called trick shots, uh, ping pong trick shots. This is their third video. Um, there's a whole thing with Oreos. I think they were sponsored. But basically, mm. um, I just want to show you the beginning of this because it was one of those... What the fluff? Because it was just so cool. All right, here we go. You ready? Let's get started. Oreo Dominoes with a little milky splash. Hits the mousetrap, triggers the marbles, makes its way to the bottom. Bang! Hits the mousetrap. Up, up, and away the balloons go. Releases the golf ball, hits the car, makes its way up the track. The little engine that could makes it to the top. Into the bucket. It's party time! Yeah! Yeah! Right yeah! All of that. 
this ping pong lands in a cup. So literally the whole video is just, you guys should watch it. It is like mind boggling. But you can see that the that these guys have practiced and they've kind of like worked out the science. I promise I'm not going to talk about science again. <laughs> the science behind it. But just some of the tricks that they pull with ping pongs is really, really cool. And I think if you're ever having like a hmm kind of day, go check it out. We will put the link below. But next up, we're going to be talking to Darth Pixie. Hooray! Yay! Guys, so my what the fluff story for this week is from Italy, where an Australian daredevil slash circus performer by the name of Zoe Ellis, aka Zoe Lamour, set out recently to shatter her world record for the most fan blades stopped using only the tongue in one minute. It's it's one of those records. So what she did was she took two 35 watt fans, set them on the highest speed setting, and got to work. She managed to actually break the record according to Guinness World Records by stopping the fans 32 times in total. But according to the website, her record was soon broken by Ashrita Furman, who is one of the most prolific world record setters, breakers, and holders. As of 2011, Ashrita Furman held the record for the most world records held by an individual. So this is all well and good. It's one of those weird, wild and wacky world records that people set and you, you know, you wonder how did you figure out that you could do this thing? But there's some weird wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff going on with the record itself because according to the Indian Express and the Huffington Post, which I assume got the story from GuinnessWorldRecords.com, the record that Zoe Ellis set at 32 was broken by Ashrita Furman recently, which would, I would imagine, mean this year. However, if you actually look up Ashrita Furman on the Guinness World Records website, it will be stated that the record was set at 35 by him in August 2014, which is by no account a recent event. So. I'm not sure what's going on, but I feel like somebody is fake news, if you know what I'm saying. So I think it's maybe something that they need to check amongst their own ranks as far as, you know, Guinness having the proper information around. It's not earth shattering information, of course, but I'd like to know who actually holds the record and when that record was broken because, you know, I, I, I like to have nice conversation points to break the ice when I meet people, you know, before I shock them with my condescending assholery. I really want Oreos now. <gasps> Oreo nachos! Get, don't, don't, it's a brilliant idea! On You're that with note, me on this one. Thank you so much You're for watching me. What the Fluff. You're with me on this. <laughs> Please don't forget to check out all Whipped our links cream. below. And Ooh. we will see you guys next week with more What the Fluff stories. I, I'm on to something. Bye.